Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial showing you how to use the in-browser AQL calculator. Uh, this calculator is based on the ANSI ASQ standard Z1.4 and that is one part of the chart that you can see there for reference. And this is the standard typically used by QC professionals in the product inspection industry, uh, especially those who inspect on behalf of importers. So let's input a lot size here. This is your total order quantity. We'll say 500. For inspection type, you have two options, special and general. Special is typically reserved for on-site tests that may be performed on a small quantity, uh, just a few pieces, for example, while general inspection type is reserved for your main sample size. Uh, you'd use that for visual inspection and other checks you perform on the majority. So for inspection level, you have a few options here. One being the smallest, um, offering the lowest transparency, the smallest scope. Uh, it's typically a, the budget option because it takes less time. The third inspection level is the largest scope and offers the most transparency. So let's use number three. Now your AQL stands for acceptable quality limit. And the higher your acceptable quality limit or the larger your AQL, um, the higher your tolerance for quality defects. So let's use one that's common for consumer products, uh, 2.5. And then we have our, our accept point, our reject point, and our sample size calculated here automatically. Your accept point is the maximum number of defects allowed to still accept the order following AQL, and reject point is the minimum number of defects for rejecting an order using AQL. So if you find more than five defects, you would reject the order. That is six or more defects. And your sample size is 80 units, so you should be pulling a random sample of 80 units for inspection. Uh, different importers may classify defects differently, but often QC professionals classify them as either critical, major, or minor. I won't get into those two specifically, but you'll use a different AQL for each of those categories. You might use four, uh, four for minor, for example, 2.5 for, for major, and zero for critical. But for certain lot sizes, certain order quantities, you may find that your sample size differs between AQLs. So for example here, to use the example of minor defects at 2.5, we're, we're shown 20 units as the sample size. But if we choose a, an AQL of 4, we see 13 units. And in the QC industry, generally it's acceptable to use the largest sample size for all three categories, that is critical, major, and minor defects. So if you find a case like this one with 90 um, units in your lot size and an AQL that varies between 0, 2.5, and 4, you can go ahead and use that larger sample size of 20 units for all three of those categories. And that's basically it. That's how you use the AQL calculator. Um, if you'd like to see the AQL chart, there's a link in the description. Uh, there's a link to this calculator in the description as well. And we also have a free ebook for you. Uh, it's called The Importer's Guide to Managing Product Quality with AQL. Uh, definitely worth checking out. I think it's 34 pages. It's uh, it's cut out all of the, the jargon and the technical information that most importers may not be privy to, and it, and it gives you a nice, concise, step-by-step -step guide for using AQL for inspection and interpreting the results of, of that inspection. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm John Niggle from InTouch, and take care.